Welcome back to my channel. This is English and I'm here to teach you English for IT. Today we are talking about how to write professional and English perfect user stories. Yes, English for user stories in this video. If you work in tech, you don't need me to tell you what a user story is. But if you are a newbie in tech or if you're not from tech, but you just like me and this channel, by the way, if you like my English lessons, please subscribe to my channel and uh, set the reminder not to skip the next video. So what is a user story? Well, a user story is a general description of uh, a software feature written from the perspective of the end user. Yeah, so technically, in order to write a good user story, you have to put yourself in your end user's shoes. Pretend, imagine you are the end user and describe what this feature will do for you. The purpose of writing a user story is to break down, to separate uh, the big chunk of information into smaller pieces, to break down the product feature into bite-sized tasks. An effective user story consists of three parts. Let's see what they are. First, you have to write from a particular persona perspective. So that's why you say as a who. For example, as a student, the user has to be able to do this. For example, if I'm building a platform for students to learn English for tech online. By the way, we do have this platform. So if you would like to improve your English for tech, also your communication skills, welcome on board. I will drop the links to my courses that you can take online in the description to this video. Okay, so number one, we say as a who, as an admin, as a student, as a project manager. Number two, say I want what? What is the functionality? What is the goal of this functionality? What do you want it to do for the persona? On the learning platform, you want to have a spell check feature so that you can write grammatically correct. Number three, say why. What is the reason for building this solution? And this is what we have so far. As a student, as a, I want, I want a spell check feature so that so that is a construction that you have to use when you talk about the reason why you do something or why you need something. For example, as a student, I want a spell check feature so that I can write and submit essays on this platform. Bingo! Now remember, we use so that when we need to explain the purpose of the action. For example, if you want to improve your English for IT, let me know in the comments so that I can send you an invitation link to join my community on Telegram. By the way, didn't you know that? I do have a community of over 1000 tech professionals on Telegram. Yes, this is a community where you can network ask questions, learn from each other, and have fun. Before we wrap up this video lesson, I would like to say one more thing about so that. Let's take a look at my sentence one more time. If you want to learn English for IT, let me know in the comments so that I can send you the link to join my community. What do we use after so that? After so that, we use a solid sentence. We say, so that I can send you the link. After so that, we don't use just a verb or a verb with two infinitive. We have to say a proper sentence. So that I do this. So that I can do that. By the way, quite frequently, you will use can after so that remember the user story as a student i want a spell check feature so that i can write and submit essays on the platform okay now that's a wrap if you have any questions drop them in the comments also check the description to this video i will share some useful information there as well till the next time